Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Explain the Old Basic Training with your host, Rick Neal from ProSlidePacks.com. Today, what we're going to do is talk about once you start Explain the Old Up, then what do you do? Once you see the screen, now what? And so that's what we're going to handle today. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, as you saw on the slate, this lesson is... Now that the screen is up, what do I do? Well, let me back up a little bit here. Once the screen is up, this is what you see. And so it might be a little misleading here because you're looking at the tr controls you normally used to see, but when you open up a new project and create a scene, these are hidden. And I'll, just, I'll show you in just a second. So let's first create a new project. So creating a new project is basically creating your main foundation. So let me see. My first project, I put number two, I think I already did this. Okay, so now you have a project done. Okay, so now you're into your new project. This is where you would put all of your new scenes and in each scene is where you load up your slides and your videos and your text and everything else you're gonna do so that's the hierarchy you create a project that contains everything and then that project has the scenes in it and each scene has your slides and your text and your videos okay so we're going to create a new scene here and so we have an option now if uh, you may not know this but the opening that you just saw that tells you what this lesson is all about that is a scene that i already saved so when I want to do my next video, I can just come up here and just hit the training opening and boom. Now I can open one of those and change it to whatever the next lesson is going to be. And, and that way I don't have to recreate it over and over again. That's the nice thing about scenes. But anyway, let's make a new one, a new blank scene. And here we are. Now this is the famous canvas. Before... When we were using Explandio in 1.0 version, the canvas was only used for sketching. But when you when normally you'd uh, load an animation slide and then you go into the slide and change the text and pictures and video and everything else you're going to do in there. Um, and normally you would only see this screen here when you are wanting to sketch something, some text or an SWF, something along those lines. When you wanted to do one of those operations you see this screen well now in explandio 2.0 both operations have been merged into the canvas or i call this the work canvas and um, in order to get started from here you have many choices you can add an animation or a slide now you've seen the videos where you've seen certain characters walk across the screen by themselves and some other happening so you've seen the um, some of the other videos where you have different motion uh, different videos flying around the screen along with the background video you can add those here you can add the the videos where you can bring a video in resize it move it around flip it everything else you can add of course a bitmap image which means a JPEG or a uh, bitmap file or even a PNG that those have holes in them you can add a sketch image from the sketch image library that's your SVGs uh, there here's your beloved text and then this is you close the canvas now I want to show you something that's kind of unique that kind of messes people up sometime we just create a new canvas I mean a new scene but this scene will go away if you don't put anything in it. So if I close the canvas right now, see, the, the scene wasn't created. Because if it was created, you'd see a little box right up here. And you see my first item in there. If you don't put an item in the scene, it doesn't get created. So I'm going to create a new scene. I'm just going to add some default text, close the canvas. See, now you can see up here that a scene has actually been created. And here's the text here. Now, this control panel here is a little misleading for those that have used Explainio 1.0. So let me explain what's going on now. All I have on the screen is text, right? Um, anybody who's used this software before know that you can bring text on the screen and sketch it by itself. You can 
bring in a sketch image and put that on the screen and it will also sketch so you see no big deal when you're working with these it, these items and you can see them up here in their own individual square so if you come over here to this square where the text is right you have a text tab that you can use this tab is independent of the one that you would normally use to configure the text in a slide because this text is on the canvas okay this text is not part of a slide this text is on the canvas and because of that you can come over here to this text tab once you've selected the scenes frame that is in and you can edit it so you can go in and change the color if you want to do that oh it's an ugly color let me go something else a little more palatable okay and then you can change your fonts here and you can also import a font I've imported one it's kind of huge huge but um, fonts can be imported and we will get to that later on now if you actually had a real slide loaded then this tab would come in handy but right now you can see there's no options because uh, there's really nothing here for you to do because we're dealing with text on the canvas okay this is the same action before and action after control so action before is sketch by hand which is what you're seeing happening this is where you set the time uh, for that action now I know I'm going kind of fast but this is the basics so I just want to get you going and let you see what's happening we'll come back in and do some deep diving in another video <clears throat> but I do need to let you know how this operation works so sketch by hand what's happening is there's no delay before the action starts this action is going to take 75 frames or 3.1 seconds for it to draw, to draw or sketch this text across the screen. You can set a pause after action. So if you had two lines of text, you can have this line come out, have it delay a little bit before it draws the next line, if that's what you wanted to do. Or if you wanted to delay the action before the next action, which is drawing this clock. Okay you have that delay possibility in the before you also have delay capabilities in the after so if the after was going to do something it draws it on the screen and then it's going to do something else after which is why you'd want to delay over here because you can just have this come on the screen and come right off the screen if you don't have any delay action in between so let me show you and know that I'm working on version uh, 2.011 which added the erase by hand feature so we're gonna put it on the screen and then we're gonna erase it now let's make the erase function a half a second which is 12 frames 11 See, nice and orderly. The reason you saw two hands before is because there was no action duration. So the action duration, if just say that you're not, you don't want to erase by hand. You just want nothing to happen. You want the text to stay on the screen and you want to write another line of text, but you don't want to have the hand standing there, right? Well, all you have to do is just put one frame in here, one. So let me demonstrate that for you real quickly. I don't want to get too far off track. Text in here. And it's close the canvas. Okay, so I'm going to put one frame in there. I'm going to put one. In, I'm going to put zero in here. Now watch what happens. See that that hand stayed out there, right, and kept on drawing. Which you know that's not bad. But you did notice that. After you drew this text, it, the hand went away and came back for the clock, right? All right, so now let me add one frame in action duration under the after. One. Now watch what happens. See, the hand goes away and then comes back. It's going to go away again and then come back. So that's how that works. And then... Uh, in the after, let's do a little erase, you know, take it, erase it really quickly. Let 
So that's how that works. And then uh, then you have the clock that draws. If you don't want the clock to draw in the action before, turn this off to nothing. Okay, that's using simple text on the canvas. We haven't gotten to a slide yet. This is just simple text on the canvas. Or you can go back on the canvas and you can resize items if you need to. Move your text around. When you're out here, if you're on a text frame and you click on the text field and you modify something and you need to move that text, you can click on this change position and it takes you right to the item you need to move. And then you, you're back into the work canvas or the canvas area where you can manipulate things. And that's just basically how you get into here and you start up with text. Now we're going to come back and do a deep dive in, and do a, uh, a basic on the how you load a slide because that seems to be the thing people have a lot of problems with but there are folks who just want to get in here and play so I just wanted to show you how easy it is to go in here and play around and you know for those who have used other software the controls over here in this area are pretty self-explanatory I mean the font style text and the effects um, and you can sketch backwards so if you have an application that you need a mirror image, you know, because of how it's set up in some kind of kiosk or whatever, you can sketch backwards. So I thought that was kind of interesting. All right, coming up in our next video, we're going to discuss loading animated slides. Thank you.